hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again this is tech pba so in this video tutorial i'm going to take you through how to download and install windows 11 so let's get straight into it the first thing i'm doing is to um, go on google chrome i open the new tab and then i'll type the keywords download and install windows 11 so the, in the resulting link i'll re right click on it and then click open link in new tab that's the first link on the google search so in the websites um, uh, you want to go through the, the 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 requirements but first you you have two download options you can actually create an installation media or you can download the the iso image file for the installation so we'll go through the um, system requirements the minimum system requirements and then we'll continue from there so in the section that says check for compatibility um, you want to click on the C Windows 11 minimum system requirements to check if um, your system meets the system requirements the minimum system requirements so um, the minimum system requirements as stated by Microsoft is that you need a 1 gigahertz uh, processor or faster, you need 4 gig RAM, and then you need 64 gig hard drive. And then you have to have secure boots um, enabled on your PC. And then also you have to have a TPM, which is the Trusted Platform Module enabled. Those are the two um, key ones you you need to ensure that you have enabled in your BIOS your systems BIOS so how do you check um, if your um, TPM is um, active you go into the run and type tpm.msc and then in the status area it should say that your TPM is ready if it says it's not ready or it's not enabled you need to go into your BIOS and then enable them the secure boots and then the trusted platform module which is the tpm version 2 so with those requirements if you meet the requirements you can just go ahead go back to the websites and then under creates windows 11 media you can just click on the download now to download the media creation tool that is one of the things i'm going to show you and then i will show you the other step or the other download option so the media tool will download very quickly and then from there we can go ahead and then create um, the media using a USB flash drive so I'll quickly double click the media creation tool um, I will accept I'll go ahead and accept the USC prompt and then the process will begin so first of all it will detect um, it will ask you to connect your USB drive I, I will accept the license agreement over here and then it will go ahead and then ask for you to connect your USB drive but first of all, you have to select your language or you can leave it to by the default and then click next. And then here's where you select your USB drive or you select the USB option. And then over here, you select your USB drive and click next. So if you've, if you've, if you've seen my video on how to create or how to download and install Windows 10, it went through the say, I went through this first uh, process so you can refer to that um, video if you want to use that approach but the second approach you can go onto the same web page and then you move to the download windows 11 image iso select yes you move to the you go to the the section that says download windows 11 iso select the version of windows 11 you want to download and then click on the download now so over here, you want to um, confirm or select your product language. I'll select the English United States and then I'll click confirm. So from here, um, you can go ahead and click on the 
64 bits download and then your download should um, begin it's actually a 5 gigabyte gigabytes um, 5.4 gigabytes um, um, in size but I've already downloaded it onto my PC so if I go into my downloads folder I'll click on my downloads folder and then I'll show you uh, that I already have it downloaded so yes that is the Windows 11 ISO image uh, file it's 5.44 gigs in size so what I'll do is um, the I'll double click the tool I'm going to use to create the the media um, file the Windows 11 media installation um, drive that is if you don't want to go through the Microsoft um, way of downloading and um, creating the media file so I'll quickly select my my USB drive I'll click on the and then select the image the ISO file and then from here I'll check a couple of settings the partition scheme I'll select the target system um, then I'll click on the start for the media uh, the installation media to be created and you guys once again this is when you don't want to go through the Microsoft's approach of um, creating a media um, tool you can just um, download the operating system the ISO image and then use your own tool which is in this case I'm using Rufus to create it so the, the thing is done the media is already created I'll click the close button from here I'm going to restart my my computer my laptop and then boot go into the boots menu and then I'll select my USB drive the media I just created I'll click on it for the installation to begin uh, please check which um, your switch um, the hotkey for your system I'll click on I'll tap any key to boot into the USB drive I was saying that you can check um, your system for its hotkey to get into your boots menu so after tapping any key to boot from the USB and the installation is going to begin I will select my language everything and then I'll leave it as the default and then I'll click next over here I'll click on the install now it, it looks and feels like okay so over here if you have the product key or the Windows activation key you can just type it here and it has to be in the format of what is being shown there with the X's so I do not have a product key now so I'll click on I don't have a product key and then it should move to the next session over here um, I will select the edition of Windows 11 I will want to install and then I'll click next for the installation to continue I will accept the Windows uh, Microsoft uh, software license terms and agreement and then I'll click next I'll click custom here since this is going to be a fresh install I'll create a new partition and guys you have to after this um, you have to I didn't format my but you have to format the disk you are going to put your operating system on I didn't format mine but I'll click next to for the installation to begin so it will go through those um, steps as always and then it will continue a system uh, re reboots the first time after after the start of the installation okay so it will get your devices ready it will start the services it will go through quite a, a few steps to get you there and then while whilst it's going through those steps it, it will be occasionally be um, rebooting itself so it gets to this point um, we'll have to select our region 
so I will scroll down and then select uh, my country which is basically my region and where I am I am currently and then I'll click yes so over here I want to select the US um, keyboard layouts and I'll click yes I'll skip the add an additional layout so it looks quite different from the Windows 10 um, the installation um, graphics everything looks different from while when doing it with, um, with Windows 10 and guys if if you haven't seen my video on on, on how to download and install Windows 10 um, I'll make the link available in the description of this video so that you can see it so we'll give the computer a name in this section and then we'll click on the next button to continue I will name my test dash PC It takes quite some time um, to do it, but um, because of uh, for the purpose of the video, I had to forward or I had to speed it up a bit. So over here, you can set it up as a personal PC, or you can set it up for work or school. I, I like using the second option, so I'll select that and then I'll click next. Okay, so over here, I'm going to click, I'm not going to sign in with the Microsoft account, so I'll click on um, sign in options, and then I'll click on domain join instead. This will allow me to create a local user account. I'll type the username, and then I'll skip the password section and move forward. So in the privacy settings, I'm going to leave um, the location turned on. Um, the find my device turned on and then I will just on I'll, I'll turn off the rest of them the diagnostics data the required only the inking or the yeah the inking and typing and then also advertising I'll turn them off and then I click accept so it will go through the profile creation um, process as usual um, the same things but different graphics okay so then uh, after that you'll be greeted with your Windows 11 desktop everything looks new even when you right click on the desktop let's look at the stats menu with your pinned items in the stats menu um, looks different from Windows 10 you can view all the, the applications um, installed on your on this PC and then let's look at the power options you can see the, the the various options in the you have in the power area and then also the various options you have in the account area so i'll go into settings when you are, when you are done with the installation you you want to um activate your windows so just so that you you get um uh, Windows updates from Microsoft so you go into system and then go into activation and then where the section that says um, change product key you click on the change and then in the pop-up window you are going to type in your product key or your Windows activation key and then you click next to activate your Windows so yes guys this has been a video on how to download and install Windows 11 um, professional please click on the like button if you enjoyed watching this video subscribe to my channel tech PBA and then I will see you in another video thank you